do you think it's going to be if they came to you right now? Who are you leaning towards? Isn't Dana the funniest guy? <laughs> Why is that? The, it, no, I want you to answer. I Come want you to answer on. that. What? <laughs> I mean, f- actually, funny would be the last thing I would call him, but I guess it depends on in what way. When I say funny, funny can have many different. Yes, exactly. Things. I mean, I like Dana on a personal level, like outside of the cameras and everything. Okay. I like Dana. All right. But some of the things that he actually says is like beyond like me sometimes. Like you go on record, you say whoever wins this fight is clearly getting the number one shot because it makes sense. Right. After the fight, everything completely changes and then you throw Henry Shadudo in the mix. And I'm just completely confused because I'm just like, this guy hasn't fought in over two years. You don't want to give him a title shot to go be triple champ, triple champ, which I'm not opposed to because I think if anyone deserves it based on merit, it's him. And uh, I'm not a hater by any means. Oh, wow. Okay. It hasn't even been 48 hours. I'm just kind of mind boggled. So, so, so how is it, Al Jermaine, that, you you know, my merit can get me a title shot at 145 pounds, but at 135 pounds, it doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense to you. Listen, man, when you've accomplished what I've accomplished, when you, when you, I, I never even, even when I had the belts, I retired, I pink slip on that Monday. I didn't want to fight anymore. You know, I said, you know what, you guys, I didn't string people along. I'm not going on this year long uh, victory tour of what you call to try to grow your YouTube channel. I mean, from what I'm seeing with you is I'm seeing nothing but excuses. You want to be the best. I mean, you fought, you literally fought a junkie, a guy that I took out in 32 seconds on EPOs, and you couldn't get rid of this dude with one arm. It took you two or four rounds. I was just trying to figure out when is it that you're actually going to pull the damn trigger. So going back to this Sean O'Malley fight and uh, Peter Yan, dude, you know, we all know, Dana knows that Sean O'Malley lost that fight. There's nobody in this damn world an elite athlete, people that actually get the actual game that think Sean O'Malley won. I mean, go look at the internet. Since you love us so damn much, look at the internet and tell me somebody who is credible is going to say Sean O'Malley won that fight. So you're not getting that fight. And let's say for whatever reason, Peter lost. Okay, it's on his record. Are you going to fight that dude for a third time? Chido Vera, he hasn't beat anybody. Who has he beaten? He was losing that fight with Dominic Cruz. Dominic Cruz was beating him through that balance. Is, is what Dominic Cruz didn't do right, fundamentally off, off of his defense, is what cost him that fight. There's only one guy, and his name is Triple C. But go ahead. Go on your little excursion. Go and celebrate. You beat a junkie with one arm, and go ahead and party, and gain weight, and be a fat slob, because you know your time it's coming. This is the this is the king of cringe. This isn't Triple C. This is Henry Cejudo here calling, talking to you. The only thing that I could say is that you're straight up scared. You're afraid of me. You're you're scared of me. I could sense it. I know when I meet somebody. I know when I talk to somebody. You respect me so much that you're that you that you're afraid of me. And for that reason, the same reason why I'm going to beat you. You talking about world class grappling, dude? I welcome you. I welcome you to my legs. I welcome you to body lock me. I welcome all those positions. Dude, I wrestle every single day. I've been doing that. My my arsenal and my game has completely changed. But I get it. You want to celebrate. You want to extend. You want to go on the UFC, on the UFC's dime and go to every single event there is. Uncle Dana, this isn't a guy that's this isn't a guy that's gonna be a champion who wants to fight everybody. This isn't a Charles Oliver that you're dealing with. Al Jilla shit stain Sterling wants to win, have fun, kick it, and maybe fight once a year. You don't need that. You want a champion to go out there, fight the absolute best, whoever you guys offer up. And I don't think he sees the big picture. I really don't. How about me and you f- fight the co-main event under Islam and Volkanovsky? Yeah, dude, you're getting pay-per-view points where I hope you are. You should think a little more clearly. Because if you're able to think a little more clearly, you're able to make more money. But apparently, I don't know if you like being broke. Or if this fight in Abu Dhabi was, you know, was the fight that you want, you feel like it's it's enough. I'll tell you what, it's not. So there's a champ right here by the name of Henry Cejudo, a.k.a. Triple C. And your time is going to come. Your time is ticking. I'm the only guy that's left. You heard it from Dana White's mouth. It's me and you next. Now make money before I send you that pink slip. 
before you before I send you off to 145 pounds. What's up, man? It's plain and simple. You respect me too much, and it's the same reason why I'm going to beat you, Al Jelaine. It's the same reason why I am going to beat you. What was your reaction when you saw the first thing Aljo tweets after after his win is responding to to Cheeto? You know, he ha he has an emoji like a smiley face emoji with like a money bag, and then Cheeto responds, "Let's do it anytime." Like, what what was kind of your reaction when you saw you know the champ? He's he's kind of it looks like he's campaigning on Twitter for a Cheeto fight. Yeah, of course he wants a Cheeto fight. Cheeto hasn't beat anybody. I would too. That's an easy fight. The dude's stagnant on his feet. You know, he can be a little crafty on bottom, but it, 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 comparison between me and Cheeto, man, it's like, it's like apples and oranges or it's like night and day, you know, and that's just the reality, man. I'm, I'm a proven champion. I've been there before. You want to call yourself the greatest bandit of all time? Dude, there's, there's one guy that could really uh, take it to that next level and he's right here, but you're not going to get past me. And I think you know it. I think, you know, I think my, my tenacity, my, my wrestling defense uh, my strikes, my IQ, my endurance, um, all everything that you do, Al, just shit stain, I do better. And I think you know that. But go ahead, have fun. Go on that damn year-long victory lap. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what you're doing. I know what you're planning on doing. You want to hold on to that bell and have fun as much as you can. The same reason why people don't like it. Let me tell you something, man. <coughs> In 10 months, look at the opponents that I beat. I fought Demetrius Johnson in August. I ended up fi fighting uh, 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 TJ Dillashaw in, in January. And then I ended up fighting Marlon Marais, a guy who knocked you out in the first round, uh, who I ended up beating for my second bout. These were three fights that I fought in 10 months. I mean, that's what a champion's all about. And not just that. On top of that dude that knocked you out, blew my shoulder out, in that fight, the last thirty six seconds, you can go ahead. And, you can go. You can go ahead and go back and watch it, and I still pull through. So again, man, this isn't TJ. This isn't Cheater Yan. This is Henry Cejudo. And if you want to be the best, then that's it. You may have the UFC belt, but that doesn't mean you're the best in the world. The best in the world is right here, and his name is Triple C. Last thing, <coughs> what what do you make of him kind of discounting your legacy a little bit? Um, you know, talk talking about some of the opponents you went against that Dominic Cruz kind of, you know, oh, he got off the couch to go against you and, um, you know, and Marlon, Mar sorry, Marlon Marais. Uh, what do you kind of make of him kind of trying to discredit your competition? No, I, I personally know and I feel that uh, Aljamain certainly probably shouldn't even be champ right now. Like, I really don't. I think he's a guy that's really had luck on his side. Like, uh, I don't know if it's voodoo, I don't know if they do all that shit. But, you know... First of all, he shouldn't have. He won the belt by you know by performance by being Academy Award winner, you know taking that knee and then rolling like a little girl, and then and then and then his second fight he slightly beat Peter Yan, which Dana thought uh, Peter won and so did I, and then this third fight you got a junkie with one arm. I mean if that's if that's the legacy you want to live, then then dude. My legacy is I beat all these Hall of Famers while they were on EPOs. And what are these excuses now? Like, my resume is second to none. Second to you, the second to nobody's. You see what I'm saying? So, my resume speaks louder than my words, as much shit that I talk. And that's all there is to it. Let's sign the contract. Let's make money. You got the paper. You're getting pay per view points. Let's try to do the Islam. Makachev versus, uh, you know, Volkanovski fight. You make a whole lot of money, and I send you and I send you off packing 245 pounds. How how about that? So thank you guys again for watching. It means a lot to me. So you guys remember, there's more breakdowns, there's more technique, there's more tactics, and there's definitely more cringe. So make sure to subscribe and click on that button. I'm out. <laughs>